Psalms 144, a Psalm of David. Blessed, happy, be the Lord my strength, which teaches my hands to war and my fingers to fight. Well, that's a great kind of verse there that thou shalt not kill. How can a God that says thou shalt not kill and David speaks up and says, listen, I learned how to fight from the Lord. He gave the Lord credit when he came to uh, Goliath. And all the battles that he fought. And God told him, you can't build my temple because of the blood that you shed. If you were to study that out, God approved battles, and you got to be careful because there's a church out there who has had many wars and battles in the name of God. you got to rightly divide. God only told Israel to go in and fight and conquer the land that he has given the Jews. These wars have been going on in the name of a church current history they are not of God of big G but of little g my goodness Exodus 33 19 Psalm 16 2 and Jeremiah 31 14 blessed be the Lord my strength which teaches my hands to war my, and my fingers to fight. My goodness, it's David talking about God. And we read something about that last night, I believe. Goodness is the Spirit. Verse 10 of 143. Teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God. Thy Spirit is good. Well, that's the same thing we're talking about now. It says, which teaches my hands. God, the Holy Spirit, and Jesus Christ are the good when it comes to teaching. My fortress, my high tower, defense cities, strongholds, and my deliverer, my shield, and he in whom I trust, who subdued my, my people under me. God's this big fortification stronghold building beyond a castle because a castle is made of man's hands think about a, a protection that is God that even when the enemy comes up Satan he has to get permission from God to do Job 1 and 2 Lord, what is man that thou takest knowledge of him? Imagine all the creatures in the world, and God says, Listen, I visit the, the graves of sparrows. I feed the animals. When the lions cry unto me, I feed them. But man, for God so loved the world, and that hasn't even been written yet. David, what is he that God has opened up the sure mercies and blessings to him? That thou takest knowledge of him, man, or the son of man, that thou makest account of him. Man is what? He is a creation of God. He created the angels and a third of them failed. He created a share of them, and one of them failed. He created man, and man fell. And find me a place where it says in the Bible that for God so loved Satan, or for God so loved the angels. Find me a place in the Bible where you can see Satan or his angels given an opportunity to repent. And yet Adam and Eve saw God and had that perfect fellowship with him. I don't. 
or haven't. Mine is based upon faith. Satan and the angels seen God, seen his throne. Know everything about God. And the Bible says we will judge angels. Because we have believed in him that we have not seen as the angels have seen. Man is like to vanity. He's nothing. His days are as a shadow that passes away. And that's all life is. 70, 80, 100 stops today. What is it? Yeah, so he invents good things. Automobiles and flu shots and houses and electrical doodads and cell phones and yet his instruments kill himself. Alcohol, cigarettes, electricity, automobiles. They all kill. They kill themselves. And yet he's dead. For the wages of sin is death. Bow thy heavens, knowest the yes, O Lord. And calm down, second advent. Touch the mountains, and they shall smoke. Imagine the mountains all becoming mountains that are not volcanic, turning into volcanic. Cast forth lightning. That's what he done in, in Egypt. And then land, ran it along the ground and scatter them. Shoot out thy arrows and destroy them. Send thy hand from above. Rid me, deliver me out of great water. For the hand of the strange children. Now waters in the Bible like that sometimes are a reference to people. Over there in Revelation when it talks about Babylon and in, in interpretation the waters that thou saw was people of tongues and it was just a mass of people. An overflowing David's having with man that he's drowning. And man is what? He's mostly water. From the hand of strange children. I don't mean they have a hand sticking out of their forehead and uh, have an extra leg or anything. Strange means they're not Jewish. Imagine if, if you were to teleport a Native American or an Inca. Just, just, them, just drop them in the streets of Jerusalem. You imagine what, what is that? They wouldn't even know. Whose mouth speaketh vanity? Nothing. I mean, a lot of people do that. Call television and radio today. <laughs> it's not his last name, but it almost sounds like his last name. Talk radio. <laughs> and all he does is talk vanity. But Christians, ooh. -hoo. These people on talk radio, they, they, they're going to save America. They're going to tell you about saving America. And they don't do nothing to save America. Why don't I ever hear them running for president if they think they can do it so good? Don't see their name on the ballot box and shut up. You can't practice what you're going to talk? Shut up. I practice what I talk. I practice what I preach. And I say, Lord, put me to be a preacher. And their right hand is a right hand of falsehood. Ooh. Now the right hand in the always, you know, we make jokes about left-handed people, but it's the strength, it's the it's the power, it's it's where Jesus Christ sits at God's hand. And that strength that you reach out to the, to make a handshake handshake deal, it's falsehood. It's a lie. I wonder at what point in America, when you shook hands with the grocery guy, you didn't mean to, to pay your debt. Because that's what was credit was a long, long time ago in America. You shook hands. He 
you know, I, I see that done on one of the television programs, and uh, somebody was swindled by that handshake. Here's a good one. I will sing a new song on today. Oh, God. You just get singing about the Lord, and it's not a song that's ever been written before. It is your song between you and the Lord about how you feel that moment. It would be called a psalm. I wonder how many psalms you've written and how many numbers there are that maybe record in heaven a psalm of and then put your name there. I've got a few. Upon, upon a sultry. No, I can't play an instrument. An instrument of ten strings will I sing praises unto thee. You got musical talent? Do you give it to the Lord? How many... And there's a few names I know of people who who are on the radio. Even today, even though they're, they're dead or nobody or maybe still on the stages. They sing and they play an instrument, but it's not to God, but they came out of a Baptist church where they know all about God. That jailhouse woman that they love so much, she, she came out of a Baptist church. And she chose to defile the God that she was brought up in and become a God of herself. And I lost my hand. It is he that has... That giveth salvation unto king. That is victory. Who delivered David his servant from the hurtful sword. You read all David's life. All the times the Lord had brought him out of trouble and problems. Rid me. And deliver me from the hand of strange children. Again, it's children you don't know. Whose mouth speak vanity. Again, that, that's a repeat. And their right hand is a right hand of falsehood. Again, it's a repeat. You know what you're going to deal with in your entire life as a Christian? You're going to deal with people who are going to lie to you, about you, and everything from you. And you got to be careful because some of those lies will be believable. Some of those lies Satan will put there for you to believe. That our sons may be as plants grown up in their youth. Tender. That our children may be as cornerstones, which you build a building upon. Polish after the similitude of a palace. That our garners may be full. According, uh, affording all manner of stone store that our sheep may bring forth thousands and ten thousands in our streets. Population of animals, wealth that our oxen may be strong to labor, the farms that there be no breaking in nor going out. Everything safe and secure. That there be no complaining in our streets. So you don't complain. Happy is that people. That is in such a case. Yea. Happy is that people. Whose God is the Lord. America has not taken God as her Lord, and you think you think she's happy? Happy New Year! Yay! Boo! The ball falls down. And they wake up the new year hugging a porcelain throne. 
and got their face that was never designed for your face to be placed. Oh, that's a great start for a new year. How about the new year starting off? You get drunk and you're like, yay, happy new year. And three months later, you get it turned blue. I'm pregnant. Happy birthday! Yay! You're another year older and more bills and more heartaches and more troubles. As you turn to reject God of the Bible. If God is not your Lord, according to verse 15, you are not happy. I don't care what you say. Something is making you happy is not God, and it, God is the only one who will make you eternally happy. I've got troubles and problems, but man, I'm blessed. I may not be like the Bible says, rejoice in everything, and give thanks in the Lord, rejoice evermore. Man, when I'm in pain, I, 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 I'm not happy, but I'm blessed. I look at the, my body and say, hey, one of these days, guess what? You're not even going to acknowledge what pain is one day. You're not even going to know it, that word no more. That's a word that's not going to be used in heaven. And the ver and the chapter started out, blessed be the Lord. And it ends, blessed be the people. And the common denominator that you have in there is God. You think somebody who practices a religion is happy? You go up to him. If you were to die right now, do you know where you'll end up? Oh, I don't know. I know where I'll end up. What do you want? What is the number one thing that you want? I want the Lord Jesus Christ. You want something that has money or, or another man or that we just read is all vanity? All right, so you get to be the big corporate owner of the corporation and you reach the highest ladder and the rung and all that and then what you know how many people are on that ladder ready to stab you kill you murder you get rid of you torture you whatever they can do you to get that spot all right you want all the money in the world fine you know how much money you're going to spend in security systems you know you're going to send an armed body. If God blesses you with, with a beautiful daughter, you're going to send out an armed bodyguard to follow her around? Oh, I want the fame and I want... At what cost? Destroying your body? What makes people happy? Drugs, alcohol, and sex. Drugs, as long as you can afford them, go ask the guy who breaks in people's houses because he ain't got no more money for the drugs. And alcohol. Go ask the guy who's, who's, who's sleeping on the bench tonight. Matter of fact, go ask the guy coming... We're coming into winter. Go ask the guy that's sitting or sleeping on the bench in uh, uh, the, that park in New York City, Central Park, in the winter after it's snowing. Ask him about alcohol. Sex? Go ask all the children who don't know, who do not know, will not know outside of the day of judgment of God who the fathers are. And the diseases that come with it. There's some nasty sexual diseases out there. Oh, by the way, you know what alcohol will do to your system? Pastor Knox read the other night in church. I never knew alcohol can cause cancer. Why don't they put that on, on, on the... You know, they would put all the warnings of alcohol on that can. You want to have enough to put the name of the beer. 
drugs. You know what drugs do to the brain? You know what the drugs do? To, oh. Why is all that stuff that claims to make you happy ruin you? Do you think just because you had your throat removed and you're you're talking or breathing through that I forget what the trigger I mean through your throat? Do you think that that will stop you from smoking? I've known people personally that has had that operation and they put a cigarette there. Even with oxygen. Only God can make you happy. And only God will give you that happiness in the midst of trials and troubles and problems. And guess what? God doesn't cost anything. And he's well above pleased to help you and to bless you. And he'll never send you a bill. And you know, the only place that's recorded in the Bible about addiction were men that were addicted to the Bible, addicted to the Word. They couldn't get enough of the Word. How's that? I bet you they were happy. And the Holy Spirit recorded it. And recorded it as so. Oh, Lord my God, when I am some wonder consider all the worlds thy hands have made i see the stars i hear the rolling thunder thy power throughout the universe displayed then sings my soul my savior god to how great thou art, how great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. And when I think that God his Son not sparing, sent him to die, I scarce can take it in, that on the cross, my burden gladly bearing, he bled and died to take away my sin. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee, how great thou art. How great thou art, then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. When Christ shall come with shout of acclamation and take me home, what joy shall fill my heart Then I shall bow In humble adoration And there proclaim My God, how great Thou art Then sings my soul My Savior God to Thee How great Thou art How great Thou art then sings my soul, my Savior God to you.